and you were saying? Right. So, yeah, the whole, the whole idea behind the tattoos is that, like, uh, the like what the tattoo is, in Kiryu's case, it's a dragon, is um, more or less, like, their ideal uh, for a Yakuza, I think it is. Um, or their lifestyle as a Yakuza. Some, something along those lines. And the closer they get to attaining that, the more ink they get on those tattoos. The more okay. color gets filled in. Oh. Um, I think when they're first initiated, they get all the line work done. Um, and as they slowly grow into their role or grow to reach their ideals, that gets more and more filled in. Um, hmm. For instance... No, you, you don't. Saw... <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> he does. He does. He's a civilian. He's a good man. But the Yakuza hate him. Well, yeah, because he's buying out all the places the Yakuza want. Because they want to have, you know, real estate. And this man owns real estate. But there are some people down the line, I'm... Oh my god, he has a metal hand. Yeah, he doesn't have a real hand. He's, he's missing the hand. It you know who's replaced. also missing a hand? Darth Vader. I thought you were going to say Captain Hook for a second. No, Darth Vader also lost a hand, so... Yeah, you see, he turned out just fine. After his redemption, which I assume Tachibana <laughs> will have after we kill him. What's he gonna... How does he have redemption after we kill him? Because, like, as he's taking his last breath, he's like, Kill you. I'm, I'm sorry for my plans. <laughs> what is he gonna do? Pull out a lightsaber after that? You have taught me the way of the true Yakuza. This is when ah, we find out that Tachibana is ah, actually Kiryu's father, and we hear if he have Kiryu go. No. Oh. oh my god. Oh, it's so stupid. Uh, but yeah, Kiryu's got the dragon. If you saw Kuze's back when he was getting his finger cut off, he has like what looks like a an Oni King or something like that, or a Shogun. An it Oni kind Shogun. kind of looks a bit like Frylock. I could see that a little bit, but I think that's because of all the red. Yeah, the yeah. Beat. Of course, of course. Uh, I but, think yeah. I may have made that joke back in the original. Maybe you did. I don't recall. Um... That was lovely. I think I lost my mic for a second. Hmm. You're fine. Uh, but yeah, I, I think um, I think that was right. Anyway, uh, Kiryu has the dragon. You saw Kuze had like a demon, you know, shogun thing. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you had uh, and I don't think you've seen it yet. Um, but Nishiki has a uh, he has a goldfish on there, or not a goldfish, a koi. Or is it a carp? One of the two. Does Tachibana have a serpent? Tachibana's a civilian. He doesn't have a tattoo. But... Is there, like, some unwritten law that civilians can't get tattoos? So are you saying my good friend in high school is now a Yakuza because she has a tattoo on her arm? Are you saying... My I made a full back tattoo. Oh. Okay, because her tattoo is rather large from what I've seen on Facebook. Yeah, it's a, it's a full back tattoo is what I'm talking okay. about. Okay, so full back tattoos instantly make you Yakuza. Uh, in this world, at least, or at least in the 80s. I don't know if that's still the case nowadays. Oh, okay. But, um, yeah, no, uh... Nishiki has the, uh, the I'm gonna say it's a carp because I think it's got that whole carp um, leaping the waterfall to become a dragon aesthetic to it. Ah, oh. I, I think that's kind of the way reason he has that tattoo on there. Um, and I think later on uh, we did get to see um, oh, fuck, what's his name? Uh, the other character we play as I'm blanking on his name. That's gonna that's gonna annoy me. Anyway, him. He's got a demon on, like a regular old demon on his back. And his is actually, I think, almost fully colored. If not, it is already. 
Now, just the fact Tachibana just left, um, what was that Far Cry where you're having dinner with, like, the mass murderer? Far Cry and, 5, I think? Like, 4 or 5, but did you, did you well, see Well, he's not this? a mass murderer, that's the thing. Like, if I remember right, he's literally the leader of the country. Who also... Either that or, like, the wealthiest guy there is there. Yeah, who, but he kills many people who don't follow his way. Oh, yeah, no, he's totalitarian, don't get me wrong. Yeah, but did you... But he's see... not, like, a psychotic mass murderer. Only Kachibana. I'm just going to let that one slide for now. Yeah, but did you... You probably did, but you heard about the secret ending of the game. Oh, where... yeah, where you just sit there and just continue eating, like, the crab faux gras or whatever it is. Yeah. And it's just like, oh, here you go. Go have fun. Throw your mother's ashes over here. Done. Yeah, no credits. Yeah, well, I mean, that's the... It literally wouldn't have taken much work to make that ending. And it's a great gag ending. I also heard... There is a Final Destination DVD that has a choose your own adventure option to it. And there is a way that you can get out of the disaster that started the movie. There, I remember, we, we actually, you played that DVD at one point here. We actually watched that. Not, not here, here. But no, 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 my, fa my family and I, we, we watched it. Oh, God damn it, I'm trying to think now. I, think I don't it remember if we third. got, it might have been, um, yeah, I think it was the one that was before, the, like, they stopped numbering them. Mm -hmm. The one right and, before that. Yeah, and at that point, before. it's like, there's no movie, because the whole thing didn't get started. Because, yeah, I don't because, think we ever got that ending, but... I remember going through and making choices like that with the movie. Yeah, because it's like, hey, do you want to ride the roller coaster? Eh, eh, not today. I just had four tacos and the roller coaster would make me nauseous. Eh, okay, maybe next time. Jesus Christ, that Taco Bell is not sitting well in my stomach right now. <laughs> going on there would kill me. Literally. Ah, uh, I had the best thing from there the other day. Go on. Um, it was a chicken, no, a double chicken chalupa with guacamole. It was really good. Wait, was that the special? Yeah, the special as of this recording. Unless your Taco Bell is different than the one I've been at, they don't have chicken as an option for that special. Well, I had to ask. I, I did it. I assume it cost extra to make yeah, that it, change. Yeah, it cost it cost extra, but I ah, always all right, yeah, that makes sense then. Yeah, I always sub out chicken for beef. Well, not all the time, but a lot of the time I sub out chicken for beef. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this? Yeah, yes. there he is. There's there there's one of the men himself, themselves. Here, here's walking Sasquatch. Oh. Uh, oh, that's right. I lose this first fight, don't I? Yeah, I think. I, I think I barely lose this first fight. Yeah. And all the money I got. This is shakedown. Oh, well, um, God. if if you want, hey, that sounds like a great nickname. Oh my God. What else was I gonna? Yeah, there he is. Mr. Shakedown. <laughs> One of the many in this series. Uh, like yeah, you... that curb stomp hurts. Ooh. A lot. Yes. And you've seen later games in this series? I have not. Okay. Because I'm just wondering if it's the I, I same... Do know, I do know that Tattoo gets more filled up as the games go on. Mm. I can tell you that. But is it the same Mr. Shakedown? I don't know if Shake this is the first time Shakedown's been introduced or not. Okay. I don't know if he's in the other games, because again, this is a prequel, so I don't know if mm. he was in them or not beforehand. I know that the whole fighting style mechanic, this was the first one that brought it in. Oh. 
So there was no unique fighting styles? As far as I'm aware, I don't believe that the fighting style mechanic that's in here existed in the other games. Up until, like, 4? No, literally, I think Zero is the first one that did it. Oh, wait, it goes like 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 5? I think so. I think that's the case. Either that or Zero is between come, oh. came out between 5 and 6. No, no, no. No, he... you beat him up, and then he... yeah, oh, I like that. Then I screwed with him at one point and he took my money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but no, um... Yeah, it, 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 I don't remember exactly where Zero falls. It's either between 4 and 5 or 5 and 6. Okay. And it, I'm pretty sure it's the first one that brought in this multiple <laughs> fighting style mechanic. Key, you all casual. Hey, damn it. Get back here. What? <laughs> Oh. I, I, I think that's Kiryu's catchphrase. <laughs> I am just going to spit it out here and say that is like Kiryu's catchphrase in this game. What? <laughs> it, like, it looks the thing. It doesn't look like he's saying it loudly or anything. Like, it looks like it's just straight up a deadpan what? <laughs> I guess straight up Nani. Nani. Like, 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 even I feel like uh, the other character, Mashima, or Ma Maj Majima, that's his name. Yeah. I feel like he's got a more like, what? Like, he actually has inflection on it. Yeah. Like, he seems to emote more than Kiryu. Whereas Kiryu's, yeah, Kiryu's just like deadpan everything. He's just Ben Stein. He's <laughs> Japanese Ben Stein. Hi, I'm Ben Stein. At least until he gets angry, then he actually has emotion. Aside from that, it's just Japanese Ben Stein. I'm Ben Stein. Do you want to win money? Well, <laughs> I'm giving away $5,000 in a game show that's basically rigged in my favor. And then I was in Son of the Mask, and it was a really pathetic series. I wish The Mask 2 had been better. Did you ever see Win Ben Stein's money? I did not. Although I will say this, I had a fucking driving a driver's ed teacher who sounded exactly like Ben Stein. It was crazy. Oh. It was insane. Like I swear to god, it was it was like Ben Stein's voice. It was like he had cloned the voice and put it in his throat. So he it would not nuts. emote at all. Like, he had no emotion. Like, it was weird. Like, there was even, there, there was even a point, like, where I took driver's training, and he was my instructor there, too. And he was just as emotionless. And it was nuts. Like, it was the weirdest thing. Oh, I, I think a little bit later on, you'll have the... Girlfriend subplot? I think that's coming up soon? Girlfriend subplot? Oh, we never did... Fi did we ever fix that? I or think did we, we did finish that. Yes, we did, that's right. Okay, yeah, 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 we did. Yeah. Um. And here's Kiryu's apartment for the first time. Yeah, he lives in a nice little, well, nice little shack. Better than Majima's. It's much better than Majima's shack. Yeah, yeah. At like, least Majima Kiyu's is hyper, hyper Spartan. Yeah, Kiryu is kind of furnished. Yeah, Kiryu has something aside from just, you know, a mattress to sleep on. Yeah. And, you know, basic amenities. He, he's actually got, like, a mini fridge and a TV. It, it actually looks lived in, is what I should say. Mm -hmm. Whereas Majima just looks like, this is where I sleep. That's about it. Yeah. And we'll get to Majima in about four or five parts? Something like that. I don't remember exactly. Yeah. But, yeah. Is that a real kind of beer? It might be, considering all of the brand names that are in this game. I would not be surprised. Mm -hmm. Like, Pepsi shoved their money into this. 
Sega, of course. Uh, yeah, it, well, Sega's the producer, so yeah. Yeah. They can get that in there if they want it. Savannah beer, that's what it's called. Uh, let's check the internet. Uh, Savannah beer. Yes. Oh, it is actually a apple cider, an alcoholic apple cider. Huh. Weird, because it says beer on the can. Well, maybe it also does... Okay, there's Savannah Lemon, Savannah Rum. Maybe... No, I just typed in Savannah Beer, and... I don't know. Huh. I'll have to double check the logo, but... Mm -hmm. Maybe it's like a different logo, and they were like, hey, this is this world's version of Savannah Cider. Either that, or they literally just took it without thinking? Nope. Logo looks completely different. Oh, there you go. They just wanted to use it. They're just like, ah, it's Savannah, and we'll just wait, throw B on there. Wait. Waiting. Eh. No, that's not a tree in the background of the cider, I mean, of the can. Be because if it was, I was like, okay, it was inspired by the cider brand. Mm hmm Yeah, you should stay away from him, Tachibana. Yeah, Tachibana. Tachibana real estate. I hear that guy's a good guy. He's a real professional. Kiri, if you're going on the straight and narrow, you should totally join him. Hmm. Prove my innocence. By working for the most innocent man in town. The fact that you keep <laughs> saying that he's innocent <laughs> is driving me into this questioning. Well, to be fair, you're the one that started down the line of Tachibana is evil, and therefore I need to take up the opposite position. No, I believe in the original version of this audio, you were saying, oh yes, he's Tachibana, he, he has nothing to hide. And then... No. No, 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 you started this whole evil thing when we got to the mysterious man part. Like, don't trust this man, he looks very suspicious, I don't like it. And then you said, I think then you said like, oh, he's Tachibana, he's completely innocent. I think I said he's the guy who's going to make us a real estate agent. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I started stressing the point that he is a real estate agent. Like, he has, he is not involved with the Yakuza in any way aside from just personal spats. Like, he's not part of them or anything. Hmm. You went down the evil path, and now I've had to take up the opposite position. I still don't trust him. <laughs> I still don't trust him. I mean, or for all you know, here I am pulling a monster prom on you and just, you know, psychologically manipulating you the entire time. I actually think you... <laughs> no, no, I actually think you brought up monster prom during the have. original recording. I might have. Just because of the fact that that's kind of what it turns into at this point. Yes, yes. Just because it's fun to make you keep thinking I'm using psychological warfare on you. Hear you, you're walking down a dark path. Like, this especially man... with your problem, because I wasn't. I wasn't doing sh I wasn't even doing anything. You just jumped to that conclusion. <laughs> this man has powers you wouldn't believe. Dark powers. Getting lightning out of his hands. <clears throat> so, like, just bouncing back here, this is a two-step thing, but I saw Soul Calibur 6 recently came out, which, hey. which made me, and you're just saying, like, lightning powers, for some reason, now I'm thinking about Soul Calibur 4, where Yoda and Darth Vader were playable characters. Yeah, Soul Calibur tends to get a lot of cameo characters for whatever reason. I think Ezio was in 5. 
I think for, that's a great series. Bayonetta might be the new one. It wouldn't surprise me. Um, in the first game, she has a sword. I don't know about the second. I haven't played it yet. Yeah. I own it. I just haven't gotten to it yet. Hmm. But yeah, she, there, there's a demon sword that she wields. Actually, it's a straight up demon katana she wields. Actually, uh, in the first game. And I only played a bit of Soul Calibur Two, I think, and Soul Calibur Zero, aka Soul Blade, or one of the Soul Calibur games. Yeah. I just don't remember which one it was. Or Soul Edge, if you're British. Yeah. I don't know why they changed the name. I mean, to be fair, it's kind of like they're still using one of those weapons, you know, the, one of the two weapons in that case. I thought... Like it's Caliber and Soul Edge. It's Soul Caliber and Soul Edge. No, 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 no. There was Soul Blade in America, Soul Edge in England. And... Oh, then I don't know. Like, if it's Soul Blade that is the one that got the change. I don't know why. No. Because I remember in the story, it's Soul Calibur and Soul Edge are the two main swords. Yeah, so why did we in America call it Soul Blade? I do not know. That is a weird choice. I know I played one of the games, and I think it was on GameCube at the time. I just don't remember which hmm. one it was. It might have been four. But I don't see, remember see, getting your... Tachi Bonnet is a shadow. Doesn't leave a trace. That's because he's innocent. There's no trace to leave. But he's a shadow. He blends into the night. He's just Batman. I think I made that joke last on the original. I think I made the joke that he's Batman. Maybe. Maybe. He's just he's just on the roof of his fucking building, brooding away. <sighs> I am darkness. I am the night. Oh, oh, that, oh, that's going to be so good. Oh, no, no, I will not tell you what my thought was, because, <laughs> no, 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 it, it will ruin it so much when I actually drop it. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. <laughs> that's his dark secret. You keep thinking he's evil. In reality, he's just the freaking, he's just the freaking Batman of this city. <gasps> <laughs> like he goes into the bathroom he like tucks like pulls down on like the shower head and it just opens up like to the Tachibana cave <laughs> oh th there we go that sign back there Japanese Stephen Colbert uh, sign? uh right there oh. oh yes I saw it yeah I think we have a I fight in front of... There's a point where we look at it, I think. Yeah, I think there's a better or longer shot down the line. I think so. I just don't remember where. I think it was on a poster that was outside a building, I want to say. Yes. Oh, man, gold suit, give me your money. I need I need some money. Otherwise, Sega. you know, Mr. Shakedown will have anything to take. Look, I need this money. Mr. Shakedown needs it from me. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, so where are we going now? I have no idea where we're going now. Okay. Karen's yelling at me. Oh. She's so mean. She demands things that I don't have time for. Yeah, we should be done with this. There's only this. one more episode after this, right? What? There's only one more after this, right? Yes, yeah, yes. Six, seven. Yeah. And we would have... There we go. Yeah. As you... I, uh, this is where I'm desperately trying to figure out how to get in, and I can't. Because I'm like, where's the entrance to this building? Mm. Gotta, gotta save the pretty girl. Yes. Gotta save her. Meanwhile, I just beat people up. <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh. Just, just take this pounding. So you... That sound is so dirty. Take this pounding. That's the way I said it. <laughs> <laughs> it could be worse. It was like the Fate Grand Order uh, comic I showed you. There's like, as oh. soon as I said it, that dropped into my mind. So how do you, what are you actually trying to get into? That's the bowling alley. Oh, okay. Look, you can see the pins right there on the side. Oh, there we go. The bowling pin is right there. That's actually the entrance that I couldn't find. I assumed it was on the, like, long side, not on the short end. Huh. But, um, yeah, no, like... God, fuck! I lost. I lost what we were talking about. What were we? What were we on again? I forget. Um, talking about real estate. Talking about his Batman. <laughs> um, something about Karen bowling alley. Nope, there was something in between those two last two, and I don't remember what it was. Damn it! See, see this is terrible. This is what happens. Like th this is my fucking stand. The ability to have something immediately in your mind, only to forget about it a second later when you're about to talk about it. But how would that help you in battle? It doesn't. Hmm. It actively screws me over. <sighs> kind of like what Pat from Super Best Friends, he has um, his, his personal stand that he calls Crazy Talk, where he actively says something, and then reality bends around him in order to prove him wrong. Wait, wait, wait. I'm just getting some random flashback from a guy I used to watch on YouTube years ago. Oh, and he used to go on some real non-sequiturs. Not as much as one of my favorite LPers does, but this guy I watched said, This is pissing me off like a dog in a lemon factory. It doesn't make any sense. I think I, I don't think dogs have problems with lemons that I'm aware of. I think that's the point. And why would it be a lemon factory? I mean, I don't know how you factor lemons. Well, um, just use cosines and tangents. <laughs> Son. What's wrong? You used in sine instead of a cosine. What's wrong with you, son? Tell me. <laughs> oh yes, is uh, this weapon style? Episode. Uh, yeah, this is beast style. I think. I think it's called beast. Mm, oh yeah, with weapons. Just pick random stuff. Up. I want to. Oh, the, the hardest part with that one is just like there is such a long recovery between each of your moves. Mm. And it leaves you so vulnerable when you're surrounded. That's rad! Not as rad as breakdancing, though. Oh, that's coming soon. I love, I love that style. It's so cool. I you know think the fourth style that you unlock is actually the uh, the original style that he has in like mm. the previous games. You know, that's one of the bad things about realizing we have no audio after we recorded, like, 12 episodes in advance. Mm -hmm. we, we, we reference stuff that won't happen for, like, three, four weeks, and then... Yeah, they'll get excited for it. Yeah, yeah. Be excited. It's coming down the pipeline. All three of them will be, like, wet in their pants in anticipation. Mm. I think this is where we paused. Yes.